has grown suspicious of the man who painted this picture. All you need to know is that she was 15 when he painted her, he was nearly 50, and she was his woman. It doesn't sound good, does it? And Gauguin's passion for young girls isn't all that's held against him these days. There's also the story, often repeated, that he deserted his wife and five children to become a painter and ran off to Tahiti for the good times and the swinging. Even the madness of Van Gogh gets blamed on Gauguin because the razor Vincent used to hack off his ear was meant originally for his annoying pal, Gauguin. What's to like about this man, you might think? Well, first off, there's the art, which needs no defence. I reckon Gauguin painted some of the world's most alluring women. And he put them into several of the world's most gorgeous pictures. But what I really like about him is that he did it for big and noble reasons. There's always more to a Gauguin than meets the eye. This is the first film ever made that follows closely in Gauguin's footsteps. Where he went, we go. And now that I'm back, take it from me that he had guts by the barrel load. And with the life he led, he needed them.